Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make baby leather shoes using a design um, in Cricut Design Space. This is one of the 50 free projects that you can access with um, when you buy your Cricut Maker. It's one of the 50 that come with it. Um, I chose this one because I love little baby shoes. I think they're so cute, especially the little leather ones. Um, this is the first attempt. My son put them on this little cheese curd guy. Um, but my first attempt, they turned out really cute. Unfortunately, I didn't use the right kind of leather. I used the Cricut Metallic leather, which is awesome, great quality. However, it was really kind of too thick and too hard. I don't think that this would be super comfortable for a little baby. It's perfect for dolls, but it was harder to um, sew through and cut or put the punches through. So instead, um, I used this soft leather. It's a lot softer, it's a lot more flexible and easy to work with. Um, and it was a little easier to cut because this material really, I think, is easiest. It will be easiest to cut with the knife blade, which should be released pretty soon. Um, but it's a really fun project. It takes you probably about an hour, hour and a half, depending on your um, ability. But it's a hand sewn project, no sewing machine required, and it's great for baby shower presents or if you're nesting and you just want to make some shoes for your baby. Um, but I just wanted to make a few comments on the the pattern in design space. Um, when I first read it I was a little bit confused and I kind of had to improvise a little bit. Um, it, it has a couple of optional tools. I do recommend getting this like leather hole punch. Um, it makes it a lot easier. You po put, poke the holes um, in the leather using it and it makes it a lot easier um, just to get your needle through. You do want to use the leather specific needles. You can get this at any craft store. Um, it said it recommends that you can get a leather groover, and I didn't use this, um, and I I didn't use it with either either times I've made it. Um, I just used the fabric pen. The fabric pen did not come off of this leather, just to let you know. But it does come off of this soft leather, so I just used that to mark my um, seam allowance. But if you don't want to use the fabric pen, you can use a leather groover to make your seam allowance. Um, I definitely recommend printing out the PDF instructions and having it right in front of you as you do this um, this whole project. And hopefully this video will make it a little clearer about what you're supposed to do. I also will be doing a photo tutorial on my blog, which may be easier to follow because um, I'm actually taping this after I did the tutorial and I did it in not the best light. Um, so some of it might be a little harder to see, but I did get better light throughout it. So hopefully you'll be able to make your own little baby shoes in uh, just a short amount of time. And please let me know if you have any questions because this is a really fun project and I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, to get the project for the le the leather baby shoes, just go to design.cricut.com and you can um, access it from any of these project places like what's new for Cricut Access, Feature Projects, whatever. Just press view all um, and then come up to the search panel and click on Cricut Access. And you will want to search Leather Baby Shoes. And it should be the first project that comes up. And like I said earlier, this is one of the 50 free projects that comes with the Cricut Maker. Uh, so it should just be in there already. Um, and you will see a picture. You can print the PDF instructions if you'd like, which I definitely do recommend. Um, and you can make sure that you have all the materials. So just press the Make It button. And you can adjust um, the sizes if you need to, just depending on the size of your piece of leather. Like if I had to, mine was a little bit smaller, so I adjusted it this way so that they could cut um, just on the one piece that I had. I also do, uh, hid these little pieces. I'm not even sure what those are. I don't think that you need them. Um, so I just hid those so they didn't show up, so they don't show up. Um, and I found, cause I use the rotary blade cause I was using the soft, um, the soft leather, which works fine with the rotary, rotary blade, but I found that it kind of messed up my mat. So you could mirror it and put your material with the kind of like the fuzzier side up. Um, but that's not required, but if you do want to make preserve your mat a little bit longer, I would recommend, um, printing or cutting it with the, uh, the fuzzy side of kind of the fuzzier side of the material facing up and then mirror the items. But if you don't want to do that, that's totally fine. Don't worry about mirroring it. Um, so once everything's on there, how you like it, just press 
um, continue. Um, so just pick the machine um, and then you'll come in here. Um, they have a bunch of different leather options. For this one, I did the 1.4 millimeter and it recommended that I use the rotary blade and that, that worked fine for me. The project itself says the deep cut plate. Um, so the, the blade you use will depend on the thickness. Um, for the soft leather though, the, leather, the soft leather though, if it's about 1.4 millimeters, the rotary blade should work, especially because since the rotary blade and the fabric mat works well with the more flexible material, which the soft uh, fabric is, or the soft leather is. Um, but you can also use the deep cut blade which is what I would recommend using if you're doing this project with the Explorer, because this project is meant for the maker, but I believe you can use it. Um, you can still make it with the, with the Explorer. So once you have everything in there, just press load the mat and press go, and you can cut up, you'll cut up the materials for your shoes. out and we'll get to sewing them now. So if you have your pieces cut you will lay them out um, to get it started. Just grab one of the um, soles of the shoe and place it um, with one of the tops of the shoes like this so you can kind of line it up. If you didn't use um, the fabric pen to mark the one quarter inch seam allowance you can use the leather groover to do that as well. I did find with this soft leather that I was able to get off, I am able to get off the washable fabric pen, so that's going to work for me for this. Next, I'm going to go around with my, um, with my level, my leather hole puncher thing that you can see right here, and I'm going to put holes all along the a seam allowance, um, just, um, you know, a couple centimeters apart, just around the whole sole of the shoe. This method just makes it a little bit easier to get um, the needle through when you go to sew the shoe together. So in the instructions for this post, it tells you to do those hole punches all the way around all of the shoes before you start sewing. However, I didn't really like that method because I found it harder to um, line up the holes. So I would just do it on the sole of one shoe and then line it up um, like so with um, the top of the shoe. And then um, kind of make a hole. You can kind of poke through here um, where you want to start at the bottom of the shoe. Just kind of like poke through there. So you know where you want to make another hole. Um, you want to make the first hole in the, um, um, in the top of the shoe. And then you can go through um, or you can actually even um, put make a hole just straight in there. Make sure everything's all lined up well, like that. Like exactly where you want it. And you can put the hole, or poke the hole, like that. Um, and then that can be your beginning um, hole for this. Um, and then as I, I kind of count how many holes are between right here and the other side of the shoe and then I will go through and put holes into the shoe um, and then I'll start sewing. Okay, I punched a couple of different holes just lining it up. Start on the bottom of the sole and go through both layers like this um, and you will do whip stitch which is real simple you just go back over and under and you just keep doing that until you get all the way to the other side of the sole like so or the other side of the shoe. It's a real simple stitch um, I'll do a couple of them just so you can kind of see how it works. Um, but once you get going, it goes pretty quickly. You'll do that all the way. I mean, you put the holes in your shoe, um, kind of the whole way around like that. And I usually will go all the way down to that hole down there. So after I show you these stitches, I'm going to go ahead and put, put a bunch more of the, or put the rest of the holes in, um, so it can go pretty, pretty smoothly. Um, the back middle of the shoe, I'm where the, um, where the back edges of the top meet up. I hole punched 
or I leather punched uh, about five holes right here on both sides and I will straight stitch up the top um, like so. And you will do this twice so when you come back around the next time you will so oh, sorry that's a little blurry I have a little bit of trouble focusing okay so I will just go up and down um, through those holes until I get to the top and then, so you see I just straight stitched, straight stitched up this back you can make them a little closer if you like just so it looks a little um a little neater but um I just cut off this top and later we will super glue that down when we go back up so now you'll go back to the top you'll put your punches all the way around and you will meet at the back and do another straight stitch all the way up to the top now I've made it all the way to the back again you know see how cute that shoe is um, and now I'll just straight stitch, straight stitch up to the top and then I will do um, the whip stitch all the way around the top of the shoe um, after you've gotten to the top of stitching up the back you use super glue to um, secure the loose ends of the thread and punched holes all around the top opening of the shoe and now I will just do a whip stitch all the way around and then I will come back and um, tie it off and put a little bit of super glue to keep it in place. And now I stitch around the top making it a nice finish on the shoe. Um, and now you'll just repeat the same process with your second shoe and then you'll have a pair of adorable leather baby shoes. Uh, you can check out the full tutorial on Clark's Condensed. I'll have more pictures and details there so you can hopefully follow along even better. Um, make sure that if you make the shoes, post them on Instagram and share them. And then be sure to just subscribe to our channel for more tutorials in the future.